The wait is finally over, and Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi is out. Maybe you think it's the best of the saga, or maybe you want to burn down your theater. Either way, we can't wait to see the next film, so here are 10 things we want to see in Episode 9. Oh, and by the way... Number 1. Time Jump The Last Jedi was an outlier in the Star Wars saga, as it picked up right where the previous film left off. Most of the films are separated by time jumps that range from 1 year to 30 years. A jump of three or so years would allow for developments like Rey becoming a full-fledged Jedi, new villains coming to power to fill the void that's been left by all the dead ones, <laughs> Poe taking command of the Resistance fleet, the Porg population facing an endangerment crisis due to overhunting by Wookiees, and, unfortunately, number two, a fitting death for Leia. The unfortunate death of Carrie Fisher in late 2016 has to be addressed in the next film. Her scenes for Episode 8 had already been filmed, so now we're left with an awkward situation where she needs to be written off for Episode 9. Princess Leia is one of the most iconic characters in film. Her death should be a noble sacrifice for the cause of the Resistance and serve as their chief motivator throughout the next movie. And please, no CGI. Number 3. A Return to a Prequel Planet For all the flack the prequels get, there's no denying that they gave us several spectacular locations that would be great to see again especially with characters that we actually care about who aren't allergic to sand. I don't like sand. Hopefully, Mustafar is off the table since we already returned there in Rogue One, but that still leaves us Naboo, Kamino, Coruscant, Kashyyyk, Utapau, and Geonosis. And if we go to Geonosis, we can find Obi-Wan's starfighter that he never went back for in Attack of the Clones, assuming Wedge brought it back after he used it in Rogue Squadron 3. Maybe we'll see one of those planets again in 2028's Kiati Mundi standalone film. And number four, the Knights of Ren. Fans have speculated endlessly about the role the Knights will play in the new trilogy. In The Force Awakens, we see them for a few seconds during Rey's vision, but didn't learn much about them. We now know that they were also trainees of Luke who left with Ben after he turned to the dark side. But now that Kylo Ren is the supreme leader of the First Order, he and his Knights have free reign to terrorize the galaxy. Combine this with Rey potentially taking on a group of Padawans herself, and we have an epic clash on our hands for Episode 9. Number 5. Who was Snoke? We still don't know much about Snoke's identity, backstory, motivation, and how he got that face hole. And considering... We probably won't be hearing it from him anytime soon. We know from the novel Bloodline that the First Order came to power by taking advantage of the New Republic's demilitarization after the Galactic Civil War. However, Snoke is still shrouded in mystery. But does this mean that all of our Snoke theories are worthless now? Yep. Number six, more Force Ghosts. Yoda's scene in The Last Jedi established that Force Ghosts have the ability to interact with the physical world, which means that Jedi are more powerful dead than alive, finally giving credence to Obi-Wan's statement. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. With this new information, there are endless possibilities for Force Ghosts in Episode 9. We could see Luke, Obi-Wan, and Yoda join the fight like the Ghost Army in Return of the King. And as for Hayden Christensen, we'll probably leave him out. Fans might reject Force Ghost Hayden Christensen. What? You didn't even have me! Oh my god! Number 7, Ben Solo's Redemption. Conflict has been building inside Kylo Ren for two movies. He has now killed both his father, who tried to turn him toward the light, and his master, who tried to turn him toward the dark. The offer he makes to Rey suggests that he wants nothing to do with the light or the dark, possibly setting him up to be the gray Jedi that fans are expecting Rey to be, and watching him kill Hux would be worth the price of admission alone. J.J. Abrams, we would gladly pay for 3D and IMAX if you promise us this. Number 8. R2-D2 Does Something We know everyone loves BB-8, but we can't forget about the original cute, tiny astromech droid who's taken a back seat in the new trilogy. Especially in The Last Jedi, where BB-8 evolved into an indestructible force. Walker piloting, coin flinging, and general adorable adventurousness. <laughs> Contrast this with R2's few minutes of screen time, which consisted of firing up the nostalgia machine to inspire Luke to help the Resistance. Help me, Obi-Wan. 
We know there's a new top droid in town, but can R2 get at least one confirmed kill in the next movie? Number 9. The Return of Lando Calrissian We know he's out there. We know the coolest dude in the galaxy is still out there, winning card games, smuggling his way across the Kessel Run, and hosting galactic dance-offs, doing the trash compactor. Unfortunately, we can't see him reunite with Han, but there is still plenty left for Lando to do in this saga. Imagine how much a pilot of his caliber could help the now-broken Resistance. We get goosebumps just thinking of the one-liners that would arise from a team-up between him and Poe taking down a Dreadnought. We also can't have a Lando return without reuniting him with his beloved ship, the Millennium Falcon. You know, the ship he loves so much he wagered it in a card game. <laughs> Which brings us to number 10, the destruction of the Millennium Falcon. The Millennium Falcon is one of the most recognizable vehicles in cinema history. It is the enduring image of the original trilogy. Many people criticize The Force Awakens for being too similar to A New Hope. However, the Last Jedi has gone in a very different direction than Empire. Symbolic ties to the original trilogy are being severed more and more with each movie, and it's likely that that's going to continue. It is for this reason that we believe the piece of junk needs to take its last ride. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.